Young Thug's long-awaited trial in Atlanta got underway with opening statements Monday, but the day began with objections, delays, and calls for a mistrial. I'm not happy about any of this, said Judge Jurel Glanville on Monday after the prosecution's opening statement. It caused confusion in the courtroom. The trial's opening day arrived roughly 18 months after charges of gang-related activity were first brought against Jeffrey Lamar Williams. The hip-hop star known as Young Thug, Williams was one of the more was one of more than two dozen defendants charged with conspiracy to violate Georgia's racketeering influence and corrupt organization, also known as the RICO, in May 22, as well as participating in criminal street gang activity. Now, the judge was upset off rips like the, um, one of his lawyers were asking for a um, for one. One was missing off rips. Right. And then later in the trial was asked for a mistrial and this was the judge's reaction ask me that an hour i mean i'm not happy about that i'm not happy about any of this sit down mr are are you (laughs) after 10 long months of jury selection ladies and gentlemen i think we're ready for the lawyers to begin their opening statements the trial now underway for young thug and five other defendants who prosecutors allege ran a violent gang on the streets of south atlanta the group calling itself young slime life dominated dominated the cleveland avenue community of fulton county day one of the as you can hear, that was the prosecutor going in, man. Um, Fulton County District Attorney Fonny Willis, who has been very popular in the last few months, has alleged that Williams was associated with a blood-affiliated criminal street gang called Young Slime Life, also known as YSL. The allegations suggest that the artist rap lyrics often use the acronym YSL, the initials of both the gang and Thug's record label, Young Stoner Life, and other alleged criminal activity. Prosecutors intend on using the rap lyrics in the court trial. Willis used the same RICO law to indict former President Donald Trump and 18 co-defendants in connection with their alleged attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Adrian Love, the chief deputy district attorney, made the opening statement on behalf of prosecutors Monday, saying that Williams and the other defendants partook in the gang-related activity for years. Why so checks all the boxes for a criminal street gang, she said. Defendant Jeffrey Williams was its proclaimed leader. YSL, as the evidence will show, didn't move individually. The members and associates of YSL move like a pack, with defendant Jeffrey Williams as its head. The trial was just as tedious as everything leading up to it. A juror running late cost an hour and a half. Then, Young Thug's lawyer asked the judge for a mistrial because of slides on the prosecutor's PowerPoint he says they've never seen and were inaccurate. How do we just violate court order? So, yes, I have a serious motion for a mistrial because it's intentional misconduct. Chief Judge Earl Glanville admonished the district attorney's office. Now, off rip the first day, imagine your lawyer asking for a mistrial. So that could be possibly a good sign if the lawyers are already poking at certain um, cracks that they have in their discovery in their case i mean the first few hours are already calling for a mistrial for the oversight but denied the motion for a mistrial because opening statements aren't evidence but he told both sides this all should have been figured out weeks ago you said that you would do it later as it came okay well here's the thing later is now i got a jury in a box the defense claimed that there were at least a dozen slides that the da's office never showed them despite the judge's order so basically on top of a juror being late for an hour and a half to a well um to a big big case right there's six i'm sorry 12 different slides that the um lawyer of of young thug wasn't privy to and i guess this information has to be made ahead of time so that they can plan their defense right so if you are thrown if you're given 12 different slides that you haven't seen or weren't able to create a defense for obviously that's going to create some kind of frustration so argument no, just I wish that the court would just follow their own instruction. Well, I'll follow my instructions when you all bring to my attention what you need to in a timely manner. And court still has not. Damn. As you can see, that's this case here is obviously something to. um. It's obviously something really, really uh, pivotal, being that the judges tend to be level headed and not really show too much emotion. And to have a judge really like get out of its body and be, you know, show its emotion, that's show his emotion is you know it shows you how pivotal this case was is her opening statements was interrupted as williams defense team called for a mistrial after love's presentation tied williams attorney to a separate case which judge glanville had previously ordered against the defense said it had not seen several slides in her powerpoint per powerpoint presentation despite court orders to exchange materials that would be presented after a lengthy lengthy back and forth 
which included other objections from the defense to its material in the presentation. Man, oh man. Prosecutors argue that Young Thug, Gunna, and other rappers in the case hinted at criminal behavior through lyrics in their songs. The defense, as well as civil rights attorneys, have argued the lyrics are an example of freedom of expression that targeted rap lyrics is also an attack on black art. Man. Man, oh man. The legal dispute paused a growing career for Young Thug, who has been seen on three of his albums, who has seen three of his albums hit number one on the Billboard 200 chart. He has been in custody since arrested in 2002. The rapper, who has been collaborated with artists like Drake, Travis Scott, and Nicki Minaj, has been nominated for four Grammys and won Song of the Year in 2019 for his songwriting work on Childish Gambino's This Is America. Attorneys for William and the Fulton County District's office did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Man, so yeah, just a quick uh, synopsis of what's going on. Jurors are late for an hour and a half on one of the biggest cases Atlanta has seen. Um, there's 12 new slides added by the prosecutor in which Young Thug's lawyer wasn't privy to and couldn't create a defense for Um and ask for a mistrial on day one, right? So it kind of sets the precedent of what the rest of the trial is going to be looking like. If off rip, you're asking for a mistrial. And then on top of that, the the emotion being shown by the judge says a lot. Like if you just go back right into the clip I was watching. But denied the motion for a mistrial because opening statements aren't evidence. But he told both sides this all should have been figured out weeks ago. You said that you would do it later as it came Okay, out. well, here's the thing. Later is now. I got a jury in a box. The defense claimed that there were at least a dozen slides that the DA's office never showed them, despite the judge's order. Any other argument? No, just I wish that the court would just follow their own instruction. Well, I she said, I wish that the court would just follow its own instructions. And listen to the judge's response. I'll follow my instructions when you all bring to my attention what you need to in a timely manner. Man, that's... And court still has yeah that's that's truly interesting man um i'm eager to see how this plays out now there's a lot of people who are saying that thug might be coming home pretty soon right and there's a lot of um cracks into the the case right and a lot of things that were done um improperly so uh as this goes on i'll try to keep you all updated as much as i can um but yeah, man, what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Do y'all think that this is a good sign for Thug? Or y'all think they about to wash him up? I'm eager to see. Because seeing the way that judge felt today and seeing how um, Young Thug's lawyer is carrying himself with the confidence and seeing how things are playing out and the prosecutor going hard. I'm eager to see how this plays out. But let me know what you think.